हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम एक्स्ट्रा कैरेक्टर्स इन अ स्ट्रिंग यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इन एक्स स्ट्रिंग एस एंड डिक्शनरी ऑफ वर्ड्स विच इज नेम्ड एज डिक्शनरी यू हैव टू ब्रेक एस इन टू वन आर मोर नॉन ओवरलैपिंग सब्सटिंग सच दैट ईच सब्सटिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन डिक्शनरी देर मे बी सम एक्स्ट्रा कैरेक्टर्स इन एस विच आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन एनी ऑफ द सब्सटिंग्स वी नीड टू रिटर्न द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा कैरेक्टर्स लेफ्ट ओवर If you break a piece, optimal. So let's see this example. Suppose our string is read as four. So our dictionary contains read, code, and read code. Now, if we see, we can take substring read. We can take substring code. After this, only one character is left there, which is S. So we output one in this case. Now let's see the second case, which is dictionary is having hello world. So we separate hello and world. So we are left with say. This gives us output as three. So for this problem, we can have a easy solution. that is we can keep the track of all the words which are there in the dictionary and remove those words and hence return the remaining string so to do this we can just simply create a set of words from the dictionary so why we are creating this set we are creating this set so that we can check that the given substring exists in the dictionary or not and then we can get the length of the string here and we can have a vector named dp so here we will be using dynamic programming to make our code more efficient uh, so we will have this of size n plus 1 considering n is the length of s so now our dp of i means the character within the dp what it will represent it will represent the minimum number of extra characters which are left over for the substring which are ending at index i of s so let's initialize dp of Zero. So our DP of zero would be initially zero because there are no characters in the substring at index ending at index zero of string s. Now we iterate from one to the length of s that is n and calculate. dpi for each index we start with the assumption that there is one extra character compared to dpi minus 1 that is substring ending at the previous index so now for each index from 0 to i minus 1 we consider all the substrings from j to i and let's take uh, for more clarity i'm writing here we choose any index suppose j in between 0 to i minus 1 and for that index we take substring from j to i and check that this substring exists in dictionary or not if a substring is found in dictionary we update the dp of i to the minimum between dp i and dp j so we take the minimum of these two if we find any substring from j to i as well 
so this will represent minimum number of extra characters which are left for the substring index at index j after uh, doing all these things the dpn which is the last one our dpn would contain the minimum number of extra characters left over the entire string s so we return the value as a result so we would be returning dp of n so basically at each index we are storing the characters left after we are iterating at ending index i and after iterating over whole string we are given dp of n as a result and hence we return the same so just the idea was very simple uh, we need to check the strings here and compare this with the string in s and then we can store the length of each of them or the substrings of each of them and we can return whatever is left the length of the string so hope you guys understand this solution we are using dp here just to make our solution more efficient otherwise you can do it simply as well and also we need to take care if a character is repeated again it needs to be removed suppose we have a string as v a b v and our dictionary contains only string v so both these v needs to be removed now i think uh, the approach is clear and you can code the solution thanks for watching